I was in middle school when this play happened. I don't think I ever really gave this play the respect it deserved for just how impressive it was because I was a fan of the other team at the time. Dallas would go on to win this game 31-28, to and this was part of the reason I never liked Beckham to begin with, because immediately after this game, the coverage of it was all about Odell's catch and not the outcome of the game, and this confused me. Why did we care so much about this catch when the Giants did not win the game? And that was the beginning of my relationship with Odell Beckham Jr. from a fan's perspective, knowing probably that he was always really great, but never truly respecting him because of that catch that night and him being on the Giants. And now that he is gone from the Giants, I can truly respect just how talented, how good Odell Beckham Jr. truly is. This man is arguably the best receiver in the NFL, and the Giants just traded him for a first-round pick, a third-round pick, and Jabril Peppers. For the Browns, this has to be a gigantic win for me. You have a young quarterback, and you have a very high-powered offense as you pair Odell Beckham Jr. up with his college teammate Jarvis Landry, and a good running game with Kareem Hunt and Bradley Chubb behind him. As far as the Giants, this move could not make any less sense to me. The team had a roster that was competitive, I think, if you get rid of the quarterback. Saquon Barkley at running back, Evan Ingram at tight end, Sterling Shepard and Odell out wide. That is a very high-powered offense if you put a decent quarterback in there, or, you know, almost any quarterback that is not Eli Manning. Eli Manning outlasted Odell Beckham Jr. in New York. Think about that. I don't want to disrespect Eli Manning too much because he is probably a Hall of Fame quarterback, two Super Bowl rings, but it is over. He is washed up as far as being able to carry a team to the promised land. It's not, there is not going to be no three lie, I don't think, so to speak. And I'm overjoyed to see Odell Beckham Jr. gone, but from the Giants' perspective, I just don't understand it. Odell Beckham Jr. is really, really good. Beckham holds 14 New York Giants team records and 26 NFL records. He was the Rookie of the Year in 2014, he is a three-time Pro Bowler, and he is only 26. And the Giants have traded him. This loyalty to Eli Manning, this decision based on whatever it is that they have made here, is the wrong one. David Gettleman, the team's general manager, was known as a guy that didn't care for better stars when he got rid of D'Angelo Williams, Steve Smith, and most importantly, Josh Norman in Carolina. In New York, he had a chance to shed this mantra, this uh, reputation. And here, he cements it by watching Landon Collins leave within the division and watching Odell Beckham Jr. get traded. It's unbelievable to me. It makes me very happy as a Cowboys fan. But from the football building perspective, it aggravates me to no end that the Giants would make this kind of move. Poor Saquon Barkley, out on an island now with Eli. Enjoy it, kid. Your career is going to be a much different one than it would have been otherwise because your team just does not know what they're doing. Which is something that I haven't been able to say about the Giants for a long time, but in recent years, it's been all I've been able to say. Washington continues to be a dumpster fire, so it's just us and Philly, it feels like. I've been wrong before, but I don't see anyone in the division stopping Dallas. Philly's going to give us a fight, I think, but I think that we're a little bit better than they are. But what do you guys think about the Odell Beckham Jr. trade? Am I completely off base here? Any Giants fans listening, what do you guys think? Uh, is this a good move for you guys somehow? Let me know. This has been Kickoff Commentary, and have a great day. Mm -hmm.